Hey guys. <laughs> so I was actually falling asleep on the last video, but um I needed to rinse out my hair. So um that kind of woke me back up. And then I decided I'm gonna finish talking to you guys, but this time with Baby Kingston. And um I tend to call him Andrew a lot. I guess the name, his scope name just kind of stuck. He has like a piece of lint like in his hair. And I just can't seem to get it. Ugh. It's so annoying. Anyway, he hasn't had his hair combed in so long. Him and um, it's always sometime I just don't comb the hair for a while. And he, so he has a little bit of wild hair, but... Like I said, they both got on their sleepers tonight, all cozy and cuddly. And he's got his binky, because I'm just trying to be a binky baby right now. Um, but yeah, oh. Huh, so, okay. So, a lot of people been asking me questions about buying silicone, buying reborns. And I know I talk a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot about silicones now. So, um, I was thinking about one of the things I heard, I don't know who video it was, but they were saying, um, I think somebody was doing one of the tags and they were saying about people buying, like, inexpensive or I can't even say inexpensive. There's no such word as inexpensive in this hobby. Um, less or cheaper. And I can't even say cheaper. Huh, what word can I say? Anyway, you guys know what I mean. Um, not as much money as the other ones. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, buying lower-end babies or lesser quality. I don't know if I would necessarily buy something that's just like raggedy, but um, I can totally understand why people like gradually work their way up. But if I always say, if you are so close to getting, you know, the best thing, then go ahead and get the best thing. Um, and you know, you can find a lot of deals on second market, but that comes with. A disclosure as well you want to be very careful with who you're buying from on second market and what you're buying on second market um but what I was gonna say is how I started out and I'm not saying that everybody should is just to see if I was gonna like the silicone and everything is I started out with the, um with the partial and I think that that way you don't have to kind of sacrifice quality. You can get a nice quality partial and still not spend as much as you would on a full body. But then some of them can go up too. Um, but yeah. Um, so there's also... Blank kits. People sell full body blank kits. Um, they usually still cost around two thousand dollars for just a blank full body silicone kit. Um, but I guess it depends if you can find somebody to paint. And I don't know how much people are charging these days for the full body silicones. But I've been kind of looking around because um as you guys know i was looking at the genoscope the kit and so i was kind of i've been kind of poking around a little bit trying to look at who's painting and i know that sherry hag on doll fan but she is sherry something on facebook she paints um and she does a pretty nice job claudette davis paints um but I don't know. Her painting is pretty um, soft, I should say, from what I see. But her rooting is phenomenal. So she does root, and she's uh, prices is really, really, really reasonable to um, to get 
she roots silicones, but she only do silicones, not reworns. Um, then I'm in the process of asking um, Jeannie Hyatt Larson from uh, Facebook. Um, I sent her a message today and asked her if she does private orders on uh, custom painting for silicones or whatever. And so I will let you guys know if she's doing private orders. I know now she really paints beautifully on silicone. So I, those are the people that I know. I know Rachel Farrell will paint sometime when she's not busy with her own stuff, but most of the time she's busy with her own stuff. But I know she will paint other people's kids. <sighs> Excuse me. So, yeah, those are some of the people that I know of that paint um, silicone. Um, silicone artist that I like is uh, Olivia Stone, Phil Danielli, and I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, I do still like Anne Hung. I don't know what her babies look like in person, if they're as real as, you know, as the painting is as nice as on camera and of course you guys know my number one person is uh claire taylor but then um i know that everybody can't afford it but then you never know you probably could if you sacrifice a few things that's what i did i um i had sold a lot of reborns my collection is getting very very skimp um Soon I will be down to only three reborns and two silicone. So my collection will be very small soon. But yeah, um, a reborn artist, huh, Stephanie and Jackie Ortiz, um, of course Yogi, of course there is who else? Um, gosh, there's somebody else. Um, of course, there's Kate Charles, Beata. Um, who else? Ah, uh, there are some other ones that um, I would like their painting. I mean, that I like their work. Um. Uh, let's see, and just like um, Carrie was saying in her video with the silicone, um, the Equal Flex 20 and 30, all of them feel different, depends on the artist and each baby, the pore is different. Um, Equal Flex 20 is typically pretty soft across the board. But it's just a different softness with each person. And they all kind of have their own, like, feel, feel. Um, some feel more rubbery than others. Some feel more squishy, squishy than others. Some feel more like human skin. Um, and some are firmer than others or whatever. It's just, it's weird. Silicone is really weird. That's the bad part about silicone. You really don't know until you get it. You, and that's the same with like the painting, everything, because you can make the worst baby look good on camera. And then get it home and just be like, what the heck did I buy? Um, but then that's kind of like with Reborns too. A lot of people do really good with uh, photography. And then that really messes you up. Hey, Nance. Mama Stanka Poop. Yeah, they um they do so good with the photography and the pictures they look great and then it looks horrible. But you wanna look with silicone, one of the main my main pet peeves with silicone is when they're translucent and it's even some big time artists. That babies are you could just see right through them I hate that um 
it's uh it's it's just hard but you just have to take your time and not be rushed or pressured and it, the way i look at it is that if it's meant to be it will happen and i don't have to rush into it and that's that's just the way i see it but yeah just i get all these questions and i try to remember everything and i'm trying to answer them um there's definitely a preference with full bodies. Um, some people like jointed, you know, heads and necks. I mean, heads. And some people like non-jointed, where it's all one piece and there's no, you know, neckline or anything. Um, so it just goes, I don't know, it's just everything is like preference with them. It's like hard to, to say. Um who like what everybody tastes is different but I definitely if I was trying to get used to something I would I try to figure it out I would probably start with a partial and that way you can kind of get an idea if silicone is for you because some people like I said just don't like it and then some people just go crazy and love it the only bad part about it is for the people that absolutely love it, usually tend to lose love for their reborns. It's like you don't really want them as much anymore. You just want silicone. So, anyway, that is all. I'm going to go to bed. And I, I'm telling you, this chair is like a sleeping pill for me. It's like once I get to talking to you guys... And rocking, I just want to go to sleep. I'm going to take his Bessie out because he is knocked out. I'm going to take it out. And he better not get up and cry. Let me check his diaper really quick before we go. Let me check your diaper. Let me see. Let me check your diaper and see. Make sure you're not wet. I should make sure you're not wet. Nope, you're good. Yeah, he is one little stinker pool. I'm just really excited to have him in the nursery. And, okay, the difference in between, like, this is the difference in between him and Zoe Softman. Now, Zoe is super, super soft. He's still really soft, but not as soft. But the one thing I do think that is a benefit with him not being too, too soft, his arms will not, like, fall, you know, as unrealistically as sometimes her arms will do. But, um... I still love the way she feels. Oh my gosh, she feels so awesome. And um, I love the way he feels too, but it's just different. But it's just, I don't know, it's just different. And I guess that's just the way it is. So I hope you guys um, are having a great day. And we will chat with you guys later. Bye-bye.